Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making crispy oven baked chicken thighs. It's easy and delicious. Okay, so here I have a large baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I've already seasoned underneath or the underside of my bone-in chicken thighs. Now I'm just going to season the top. And for the rub that I'm using today, or the seasoning, I have one tablespoon of season all seasoning salt, two teaspoons of lemon pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. Use the spices, dry seasonings, or rubs that you prefer. This is just something I do often with my quick and easy baked chicken. I like the combination of flavors from this dry rub or spices. And I may or may not use all of it. I'm just gonna coat the skin, the tops of the chicken. And for those of you that prefer to wash your chicken, hey, it's your kitchen. I don't know what to tell you. What I do is I get a bowl of super cold water. I add my chicken, kind of dredge it, move it around drain the water, pat it dry, and that's what I do. And I trim some of the extra fat that I don't want, but you do what you like to do in your kitchen. Okay, so these are seasoned, and I am going to be baking these in a preheated oven of 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes, or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you are doing boneless chicken thighs, then you'll want to shave off maybe 10 to 15 minutes of the cook time. Once you remove the chicken from your oven, you want it to rest before serving or let it come to room temperature so that you can chop it up or shred it for other recipes. So I want to show you the inside of the chicken. This is very crispy on the outside and tender and moist on the inside. Now, if you are working with cold chicken before you bake it, the cook time will definitely vary and it might not cook evenly. So you wanna make sure you're working with thawed chicken and possibly set it on the counter for about 15 minutes to take the chill off. That does yield a better result. So as you can see, it is cooked all the way through down to the bone. And it goes great with rice on the side, potatoes, roasted potatoes and vegetables. But I'm going to be shredding and chopping this chicken for another recipe, but I'm going to take a bite. Mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. <laughs>